Hey everybody, Women's Basketball Media Day, joining us now, head coach Joya Winnington. Joya, welcome, very exciting day for you and your girls. Yeah, we're excited, we're so, it feels a little bit normal. Yep, did you ever think that we would be here I mean, it's late, right? It's February, not the usual typical start to your season, but did you ever think you would get to the point where you were going to have a 2021 season? I was feeling good going into Thanksgiving, um, and then December got a little crazy. I, th I think nationally it got crazy. Um, but when we got the notice that January 4th we're bringing them back, it, it was awesome. Good. What, as head, head coach, what has been the major challenge is bringing them back and then keeping them safe while they're here on campus? It's them understanding, you know, obviously the COVID protocols because they're not used to that. Getting them back oriented into living in community. Right. Because, um, you know, they're home, they're in isolation, and now they're out and about and they're in the dorms and there's more people. So I think that's probably been the biggest challenge. And then, I mean, you know, Coach Rickert, getting them back in shape. Yeah. Yeah, more importantly, that's 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 been the toughest challenge, you know, for everyone. I work with the men's basketball team, right? So I I know exactly where you're yeah, at with that. Yeah. Now I believe this is your fifth year. Yeah. This is my fifth year as part of the athletic department. Um, I've seen a lot of your teams, right? Two national championship berths, I know, and some championships. You know, really great season, veteran, you know, led teams. What's different about this year's team compared to those past four seasons? Um, we're very young. We have four returners who didn't dominate the starting lineup last year. So I think that, um, I mean, they got a lot of experience coming under a Sierra Lloyd or coming under a right. Kyla Smith, but they didn't play, they didn't dominate the minutes. Yeah. So it's really gonna be that in-game stuff and you know, who's gonna, who's gonna remember? Is that muscle memory gonna be there? Working through those nerves, so many freshmen. I mean, we're 12, 13 heavy on the freshman side. So it's, it'll be interesting. Right, it will be interesting to see how, you know, crunch time, you know, in a close game, you know, who's gonna step up. So out of those returners, who do you expect the most out of? Like, who do you think is really gonna step up and be that leader? I think Deja and Kiana, I know you just talked to them a yep. little bit. Um, the thing about Alana Bradford coming in as point guard was she really saw a lot of time in that Sullivan game and that district yep, championship. She did. Um, so it's, it, it, I think they're gonna find a way to carry us. Jayla Lewis is getting better every day. Good. Um, so we're getting there. Now, we know you have, you just mentioned a lot of freshmen, right? So are there, you know, who's going to maybe crack that starting lineup? Who's going to be in rotation to get some quality minutes? Yeah, I mean, we have two players out of Pittsburgh who really came to play. Okay. Uh, so I'm excited about them, Sierra Beecham and Naya Morris. Um, we have a couple girls who, you know, just because of the transfer in the season, they're going to be ineligible, but working to get themselves eligible. So I expect a lot out of them. They're doing everything they can to get everything right. Um, I think it's going to be a tough call, Mike. Right. I, I think the whole group as a whole, they're working. So I think it could be somebody different for a while. Right. So, you know, as voice of the Falcons, I can't expect to read the same, the same five names off for starting lineup. I got to be on, you're telling me I got to be yeah. on my toes even more yes, as yes. voice of the Falcons PA in those games. Yeah, I don't. That, put, I, that is putting a lot of pressure on me. You don't understand okay. I, the pressure. I tell you this every show. You yeah. got and it. And that on me, if, if Steve is back, you know, you know right. doing play by play in the games, so he's going to have his hands full too. So, you know, you're putting a lot on our plate. I know. But that's okay. That's what I, I do. think. I think we could handle that. Okay. Yeah. Um, we always talk about, you know, hanging banners, right? And putting some numbers back up on those banners. What do you have to do as head coach, you know, to have a chance to, you know, with such a young team, you know, to, to hang another banner, to hang a number on that banner? Like, I think, um, you know, th th does yeah. this have to be your best coaching performance yet? <laughs> every year I find my, it's almost like reinventing myself every year. You, the, I was just telling Errol, I said, you know, some of these things I used to be super uptight about, I, I just, I'm not. So I, I think every year I find something or a couple things where we really got to key in. And like for this year, it's really about the fundamentals and not moving on. Like we're not going to put another play in until you know which pivot foot to use. And then we'll figure out right. where we're going to go from there. And, that, and that's something that I found they lost, you know, not touching a ball in over a year. They just, they're just wide stance. It's so I think, you know, what is it going to take for us to do that? I think this year is going to be interesting anyway. Um, so I, I really think it comes down to that toughness. Yeah. You know, like, can you, can they handle, right? Can we handle two games a week for the next eight weeks and then a tournament and then traveling on top of that? It's, 
that's that's what it's all about. Yep. I was um, I had the honor of being at your alma mater last night for my son's high school basketball game. Nice. And we always talk about banners, right? So your name is on a banner. What is your career point total at high school in Carbondale Area High School? Come on, 15 what? You're asking the wrong person. 15 what? I have no clue. You know you what? Know better than me. I was so far away, I couldn't really see. No, and I, that's why and I didn't asking. have my glasses on. So I think it was like 1547 well, or something. So rebounds, I'd probably know. You know, so I think you're second all time, you know, leading scorer in Carbondale Area history. But I mentioned that too, because I believe your dad coached you. He did. Do we expect your dad, Coach Winnington, to help you again this year? Is he going to be on the bench? Is he going to have, we're going to have a, you know, big guy, Coach Winnington, sighting, you know, on the Lady yeah. Falcons? Yes, I hope so. As, as we start to continue to get the pandemic under control um, and he gets vaccinated himself, I hope to see him back. Good. He's got to be super careful. Yes, yeah. Yep. We're, we're, we're hopeful that he's back, you know, so that I always enjoy, you I know, seeing that game. I still have to call him every night and he has to know how practice went. And then he's still, now he hasn't been here. Right. He's still trying to tell me what to do. I said, Dad, you haven't been here. He knows. I know. His name's I on know. that banner, that championship banner. You have his name's on there too, right. just so you you're know right, that. Right, right, Thanks for joining us. All right. Thanks. Good luck this year. Make sure you check out Joy and All Her Lady Falcons on our YouTube channel. Catch all of our games live here right. at the Student Union, the beautiful Lackawanna College Student Union. Take flight, everyone. We'll see you in a bit.